Okay, gold man here again. I'm going to do a supplementary video to the ground balance one I did the other week um, on this ground I got from Beggar Hill at Wedderburn. Just to show you how uh, magnetic it is and how hot it is, I'm just going to put the, my magnet into the ground and then bring it up and show you just just how much has been collected on the on the handle. So as you can see, it's it's uh, picking up a lot of that ground. So, so I'll put that back. And now I'll pick up the mighty QED with my 11 inch Elite. So last time I did it very quickly, I did the, uh, the ground balance in one 12 bow swoop, the way I do it out in the field. and. I realised perhaps that uh, a person who just hasn't done it before wouldn't be able to catch on to how, it's, how it works. So what I've done, I've set this above the ground balance point. As you can hear, it's a rising pitch on the way down. So it's a high-low, which means that you've got to come down on the ground balance numbers. Now I'm running a uh, threshold B of 50 a uh, mode of three for this coil my gain is four and i'm at null at about 50 51. so here we go that's 185. now i've got to come down because it's a rising pitch on the way down so i'll just bring it down to 181 178. Now you notice the sound is getting a little bit less there's 174. You're just picking up a squeak at the end. I'll just grab a couple. It's 176. 174. I'm going all the way to the ground. I'm touching the ground. Can't do that with uh, certain brand uh, detectors. Keep going down. 172. 170. Still a chirp at the bottom. There we are. I'm touching the ground fairly heavily there at 168. I'm getting no noise in either direction. So what I'll do now, I'll go under the ground balance point. Five, perhaps 20 or 30, so there's 140. Now you notice straight away there that's a falling pitch or a low tone on the way down, rising on the way up. Low, high. So because it's low on the way down, I've got to come up with the ground balance. So I'll come up to about five. This is what I recommend you do when you're out in the field, when you're first learning. There's 155. 158. It's getting a bit less. 160. Getting a bit less again. Signal's getting less and less. 164, 165, 166, and there we have 167 all the way to the ground, quiet in both directions. So pretty much that's how you do it. You've got to understand the uh, falling, rising pitch at the beginning, and just keep going in the direction you've got to go until you get it quiet in both directions and you can go all the way to the ground. So again, 158, it's falling so I've got to go up, up a couple, it's quietening down straight away, 165, 66, so that's pretty much ground balance there. Now if you keep going through the ground balance point, so if you if you keep going and don't realise it's quiet, <laughs> There's 172. It's going to start going out the other side now. Notice now it's a rising pitch as you go down. So it means you've gone through the ground balance point and you've got to come back. If it's rising on the way down, you've got to come down. So there we are. Quiet in both directions. 168. So that's where it's settled today on this ground, 168 with this coil. And um, there's a bit of EMI around, there's a guy at the back 
got his um, motorised hedge trimmer out and there's a plane running overhead. But pretty much very quiet and so I'm hoping this might help those who are yet to try the ground balance or have trouble with the ground balance. Um, I normally just hold the button in until it goes quiet but if you um, come up in increments of three or four or five at a time or go down in increments of three, four or five at a time until it becomes quiet and you just go down one or two and just round it out by coming down one or two at a, well, one at a time until it's very quiet all the way to the ground. So um, that's it. So uh, when you're out in the field on ground like this you'll know what to do. Alright, thanks. Goldman, out. See ya.